from Scented Pansy, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about safety and protecting your identity. Whenever I add anything to my page, I always keep two things in mind. First, I don't want anyone from my personal life to be able to recognize me, and second, I don't want anyone on the site ever being able to identify me. Panty selling can be pretty taboo for some people, and that's why I want to keep everyone from my personal life from knowing what I do in my free time, like my boss, co-workers, family, friends, neighbors, the person who makes my Starbucks drink. I don't want any of them ever being able to stumble across Scented Pansy, start browsing, looking through it, and being able to recognize me from any of the pictures. The easiest way to do that is to not show your face at all. I always make sure that I crop my pictures from the neck and shoulders and below. If you do want to show your face, that's great. All the power to you. There are ways that you can keep people from recognizing you, even if you do want to show a little bit more. You can wear a wig. This isn't my real hair. It's nowhere close to what my real hair looks like. And that's great at keeping people from recognizing me. Another thing you can do is to wear a mask. That can be good for hiding the distinctive bone structures of your face, like your cheekbones or your nose. I've seen some women blur their tattoos. I think that's really smart. You can come up with different creative ways um, to hide your identity, to keep people from recognizing you, and you can decide how much or how little you want to show. I also want to keep people already on the site from being able to recognize me and find me either online or in person. There have been instances where a buyer has tracked down a seller, he's found her social media sites, all of her personal information, and he'll begin to blackmail her, threaten her with violence, threaten to expose her panty selling business to all of her friends and family, and that can be really scary and pretty dangerous. There are ways to minimize the chances of that happening, though. You want to keep most of your personal information off of your Scented Pansy page. For anyone just browsing through, you don't want to give them any fuel, any anything that they can use. As you start to get repeat buyers, people that you start talking to more, it's okay to share a little bit um, extra. You just will naturally. Um, and that's okay as long as you've established trust with them. Another thing is to not put pictures from your social media sites on your Scented Pansy page. Even if it's a really cute bikini picture or a mani-pedi picture, don't repeat the pictures between your um, personal social media and your Scented Pansy page. It's really easy to take pictures, lift them from your site, stick them in a Google reverse image search, and come up with the social media site that it's on. Another thing that Gina Ray mentioned a little bit um, is shipping. I ship first class, so I can put the buyer's um, shipping address here, and I can also use it as the return address. Um, if you're shipping small packages first class, you can do this. Anything priority or anything heavier, um, international shipments, you'll have to, you can't do that or else it'll be considered anonymous mail. Um, I get a few weird looks sometimes at the post office, and they're like, oh, you're going to put the same address as both. It's fine. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can put the address of a store. You can choose a store nearby, a few cities over, however you want to do it. I like to choose the Target that's down the street. I have their address memorized. I just put it up there if I need to. Um, you can also put the address of the post office. They're okay with that. They understand um, your need to keep your home address private. For international sales, you'll have to fill out a customs, a customs form. Um, that's pretty easy to keep your identity secret to. You can put a fake name in there. You don't have to put your phone number. If you want to put your email address, you can. I don't because I don't want them to see that Cinnamon Bunny is sending anything. Um, put the address of the store as your return address and scribble a sloppy signature and you should be good to go. And last but not least, just trust your gut. If anything is making you uncomfortable, just be firm and stand by what you are okay and not okay with. I've had buyers tell me that 
They don't purchase from anyone who doesn't show their face. They only buy once they know what the seller looks like. Um, they've told me, oh, can I please see your face? I bet you're beautiful. I won't show anybody. And my responses to all of those have been, I'm sorry, showing my face is a hard limit. I can't help you. Normally that ends there. They leave and find someone else to buy from. It's lost me a few sales in the past, but I would much rather not make a couple more bucks and um, have the peace of mind that they won't be able to use my face pictures for anything. If you are uncomfortable with something, you can always reach out to another seller, get her opinion, ask, is this an appropriate question for a buyer to be asking? And see what she says. Um, and at the end of the day, just make sure you trust your gut, do what you're comfortable with, stay safe, and have fun.